Friday. Friday, yeah. Friday, last day of school, which is the best. Yay. Uh, the kids had their cross country today. Fun run. And Aiden did the fun run because he's in kindergarten. Country. Zach did his first cross country, so he had to run the, how many? Three uh, kilometers. Like three kilometers. It's a long and, way. And I got, a, I got a 36, but I, but I nearly came first. <laughs> Okay, positive thinking. Zach came 36 and you said it was the f the fastest you've ever ran, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Aiden, with your fun run, what did you do? Got first twice. Got first two times, so that's pretty exciting for Aiden. Maybe we've got a little runner on our hands. And Alexis, how did you go? I got eight and I did four kilometres in four laps. Yeah, and... and it's on my arm. Yeah, she's got little marks here. They run past yeah, the under tens. Like, so, I too, right? yeah, you got that as well. And it looks like 10 seconds and then I started running the whole and time. The whole way. Yeah, because we've got the stamina to keep going, don't we? Yeah. Yes. So, what did you like about the fun run? Or what did you like about um, the cross country? Well, I liked when. So, we go up this hill and then there's like a steep thing. And then it's like next to the road and you have to run down it. And that was my favorite bit because um, like I would, I was like jogging for my size and then it just made me go so fast because it was going all the way down. I thought I was going to face plant. <laughs> uh, my favorite bit when like Lex is when we go up the hill and when we run down. It Running was downwards, more, crazy. It was, more, it was more faster for me and I've got the How many the laps did you do? Four. 
Oh, you did five. Um, <laughs> they probably did less of the run though. And no, no, they I, did the same thing. I think only both. I think you both only ran for a guess. Last bit was because no. I won. You liked winning. And my funny one was when Brooklyn went past all the people and then I get to take over him. Yeah. I got this award for participating. Yay! That's exciting. Last year I got into the top six, but this year there was a lot of more, there was more people running. As yeah, well. but yeah. How Did proud you? How proud do you feel that you finished the race? I was really proud and I didn't really stop for much, but last year I stopped like for half the race and I still <laughs> got sick. <laughs> oh, guess what? Yeah. So what, what we hope everyone can learn from the cross country is not that we're all going to be Olympic runners. Yeah. It's that you've got people there cheering you on, that you know, that you feel good about yourself when you finish the race. It's not about being first. As Zach said, he feels like he won because he knows he gave it his best. And that's that's really all we hope as parents that the kids can, can give it their all I and keep pushing best. on. The cross country is kind of like life. You know, you go, your ups and downs, your struggles. And we try to teach these kids that we want them to keep pushing on and be better and um, just don't stop. Don't give up when you're on that upward uh, steep hill and your body is hurting and everything is um, just saying stop and you're exhausted and you're emotionally exhausted physically exhausted I cried. and you're crying and everything's hurting and you're going up that hill to keep pushing on even when you can't see that finish line at the end of the the track and then when you see it how fast do you run to the end no because there was someone on my tail and i'm like but, um mrs gibson she goes she's gonna get you and i'm like Ugh! yeah so you pull out this this energy from nowhere yeah. right and that's about life you know the same thing we're trying to teach kids to keep pushing on with anything that they 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 dream they want to do and you know life is hard life has um, those ups and down moments and the physically exhausting, the mentally exhausting moments. And you, this cross country just teaches you that when you work so hard, you have that, that sense of pride. You felt really proud of yourself, even though you were physically exhausted and collapsed at the do, end. I wouldn't, and do it's over. I wouldn't do it. I would just death drop down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could have tumbled the whole way. Yeah. Right. So some people don't like the cross country. I do not because I want my kids to be runners. It's because I want them to run this race of life and continue running like and it. not give up. So I'm really proud of my children today. They worked really, really hard and oh. they gave it their all. Yes, Zach, you have your hand up. Um, um, it's not about winning and we. it's not about winning. You won't get a prize to be fun and swipe back. You'll see that video and it's not it's not about winning it's about being fun it is but it's about trying to to be mm. better isn't it it doesn't yeah. matter if you... your eyes all look really blue in this it light. doesn't matter if um... like this do big guys <laughs> Zach, that's little ready everyone go like this go show me uh. big eyes yeah it's really bright you all have really blue eyes lesson for today keep pushing Keep yeah. pushing on. Comment down below what your favourite bit was. <laughs> See? Comment down if you liked cross country or you don't like it. Or you liked our other video, Powerhouse Museum. Yep. I liked so, the fun one. Yeah, you like the fun one. Okay, so hit like and subscribe to our vlog. And, and thanks so down, much for watching. Comment down below Bye. what your favourite bit is.